I am the canned ham man, and this is my empire. We refurbish trailers, and we do it with style. I don't run my business the way most people run their business. What I say around here goes. I kind of like to call it uh, organized chaos, I guess. Yeah, if I want to wear a pink flamingo on my head, I will. The boys, they were here all night working last night. How I don't know, they're like walking zombies. All of them, they, I don't know how they're here. There's tons of stuff to do here. Uh, we've got a uh, total of three projects, big projects, in the shop right now. Full restores and uh, completely custom. Canned ham is uh, it's a travel trailer. They were uh, coin canned hams because of their shape. They look like a you know old can of ham. They're awesome. A lot of people would take these trailers right to the dump, but Chris, you know, he finds a way to bring them back to life. I mean, yeah, I've been working them pretty hard. We've been pulling 15, 16 hour days. They're probably a little tired, but uh, there's, there's just no time for tired, none. Chris is my oldest brother. He, uh, he's the owner, he's the canned ham man. You're an idiot. Working with family, uh, we bullshit, pick on each other. I really should, I should have a tiara that I could wear around all day while I'm here. Why the don't I have a tiara? I'm the trailer park queen around here. I'm the boss, and Chris knows it. The, one of the buffers just broke. Me and my sister get into it all the time. Oh my God, Chris, please talk. That was an talk. accident. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> the worst part about working here, obviously, is working with my brothers. I mean, they're they're jerks. Oh, f dick. As soon as the argument's done, the attitude's over. That flooring costs an extra two hundred damn dollars. You know, we don't get pissed off at each other for the next two weeks. You know. My name is Hannah Cooper. I came because I just got a 1976 Me Too trailer, and I'm looking to have it restored. Let's take a Come look Come take at a look, it. yeah. It's not in the best condition, but that's why we have that's you. That's all right, yeah. <laughs> this trailer, this trailer's a disaster. <laughs> so I found this trailer um, out in the middle of the desert, and what I want to do with it is I have two ideas. Um, I'm from Huntington Beach, and I love to be at the beach to surf. And so I was thinking a Surf City beach trailer. And I'm also the owner of Hannah's Bananas, which is a chocolate-covered frozen banana catering company. Um, and so I would love to make it into, like, the banana mobile. Only in California you'd be torn in between banana stand and surf shack. Yeah. What do you want to do more, you know, the most? Uh, Which one? I don't know. I think the Surf City trailer would be pretty awesome it to would have. Be, yeah, it'd be real cool, yeah. I mean, it... it there's a lot we can do to the thing, you know? And I mean, if you really want it cool, we need to, you know, we need to come up with your budget. You know, what kind of money do you have to work with? I'm thinking somewhere around 12. It's, it's, I mean, that's a good number to start with. I think I'd be a little more comfortable with maybe 18, 18. I think. And, yeah. yeah. Guys, I can't go that high. My final offer would be about 16, is all I can get to. Cutting it real close. Um, you know, at 16, I mean, I guess there's a little bit. Okay. Okay, it's a deal then. Cool, awesome. Thanks, guys. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Great. It'll be awesome. So we made the deal, and then Hannah's like, oh, we're, I'm, but I, have to, I need it in seven days because she's going camping off with her friends. And Chris is like, yeah, sure, no problem. Now we have to do this in seven days. Who Here wants the keys? Who wants to tow it? You want me to bring it in? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Sounds good. I can't wait to see it as a surf shack. It's going to be amazing. Did I hit something? Uh -huh. You hit my damn mailbox over here. Where's my damn, where, where am I supposed to have the mail guy put the mail now? What the 
What happened to my mailbox? Billy. Are you all serious? Really? Now you gotta deal with my sissy. I'm not mad. Yeah, someone's gotta get me a mailbox by tomorrow. What, why are you carrying the mailbox around? Put it down and get back to work. I had a brain fart. There's gonna be a ton of work, yes, involved with this thing. All the skin panels need to be replaced on the outside, all the wood on the inside, new floor, paint, and of course all the details for uh, her surfer theme. I think Shelly's gonna bust his balls giving the hot girl from the beach a, you know, a better deal. Chris isn't a sucker for a hot girl, but she batted her eyes a few times, so yeah, I guess he's a sucker for a hot girl, yeah. Nothing like morning wood. I, I'm not saying we can't, but I am saying that it's gonna be, who it's gonna be a tough one. My little brother and I haven't always gotten along all that well until he came to work here. And um, Sean's the foreman in my shop. Um, he makes that shop go round when I can't be there. <laughs> that is cool. My brother and I both have poured absolutely every dime we have, all of our blood, sweat, and tears into this place. I want to get this business so that it's operating like a well-oiled machine. So this is all we've got to run with, and we're running with it. Hang on, Sean, the tire blew. We have our little hiccups, but the team I have is very impressive. Um, the work we do is badass. We got a new client in today. Her name's Hannah. She brought in a Me Too. It's built right here in Riverside. She wants to do a surf theme. She's a pretty girl, and you know I'm sure she's got lots of friends, so we need to make this thing fun. Tiki stuff, uh, surfboard tables. This is the catch, is we have seven days. Chris is on crack. Yeah, a week. Seven days is just absolutely outlandish as far as a timeline. I mean, that's a trailer that should take a few months, four months, maybe. You're out your mind. I'm one of those people that when I promise somebody something or give somebody my word, which I did to her, um, I, it, it's, that's final, that's it. I'm thinking surfboards obviously everywhere. You know, a, a surfboard table. Outdoor shower. Outdoor shower is a must. We gotta have an outdoor shower, it's a surf theme. I can get some flooring that looks like sand, like has a, like a te yeah. grainy texture and color to it. Yeah. Sand tile, outdoor shower. What about some kind of like a fold down patio or a porch or something? Once the ideas start flowing, it's kind of hard to get it get the ideas to stop flowing. Wetsuit couches. Yeah, wetsuit couches, that's a good one, yeah. Wetsuit couches. You know, they just kind of keep going and going and going when the four of us get together in that room. You guys are coming up with all these awesome ideas and they're great, but we've got seven days, so you need to cut down your ideas to some certain ones. And that number, there's no way we're doing all this with the Why do we always got to worry about numbers? Because that's what you hired me for, to worry about your numbers. Yes, but what sells our product is all that detail we do. If you don't get that detail paid for, you're going to be poor. It doesn't matter to me. I want to make sure that customer's happy, period. My job is to totally contain Chris because, I mean, our budget will be one, one number and Chris loves to do extras, Chris loves to go the extra mile, he's a perfectionist, which kills us sometimes. A lot of this design in this trailer is gonna be a bunch of cheap-ass surfboards. First, we have to fabricate the trailer. We've got framing, we've got aluminum, That's we've got electrical, we've, we've got We've got a plumbing. lot of aluminum, every bit of it needs to be done. But I'm telling you, I think there's money in this number once the walls are done. I think with the fabrication done, and with the time, y'all are stretching yourself way too nah, thin. No, 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 no. All right, you guys got your marching orders? Get the hell out of here, get something done. My feeling after the meeting was uh, pretty good, actually. So yeah, this is a project that I'm totally gonna have to eat some money on. I mean, I'll find a way to get it cheap, but even then, that's a lot to ask for. I mean, that's, that's a tall order. Watch the wall, Manny. We've got a big job ahead of us. Now Hannah's trailer is finally in the shop. Well, first we start with tearing it down and start literally from the ground up. We've got to get this thing ripped apart and started. Hey, where's that camera at? Want to get a good shot of this nameplate? All right. We won't know what we're, you know, exactly what we're getting into until, you know, we physically get into it. Chris has uh, kidney stones, come to find out. 
All right, I'm going in. Chris, you all right? Uh, Want a hand? Ah, shit. Oh, Want to go to the hot No, oh, no, no, no. I've already been there once. I'm not doing it again. Go lay that down, man. Uh, Shelly! Chris just pulled up in the driveway, and he couldn't even get out of his truck. He was in just that much pain. God damn it. Get you inside, man. Ah! God damn it. Come on, man. Oh. Chris is in a lot of pain in there. He's he's trying to pass a kidney stone right now. He sounds horrible. I mean, he's just in there like moaning and groaning, fetal position. He's not a whiner by any means. So for him to be in there the way he is, he's in some serious pain. I've got it under control. I'll get you something. And I've never had a kidney stone, but from what I understand, that's pretty much like having a baby. Hey, in a minute, we need to have a little powwow. Let's okay. do our game plan for today with him being down. So I, I, I feel bad, there's nothing I can do for him. He's like, nobody could be in this much pain. I'm like, I've had three kids, bitch. Psh. He needs to toughen up. I desperately, desperately miss my brother when he's not fully hands-on. These trailers, I mean, I, I, I know a little bit about what I'm doing, but I'm not the canned ham man. So I desperately need Chris here and back in 100% so that we can just keep things on track and rolling. Hey guys, can we have a meeting upstairs in the Eagle's Nest, please? We need to have a powwow, quick. All right guys, so we have issues. Chris is obviously sick today. We're f So what we've gotta do is try to figure out what his plans were for this trailer. It really sucks not having Chris in the loop because everything is in his head. When he wakes up tomorrow, I want him to be proud of the work we did today. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Shelly's awesome. I don't screw with her. I stay away from her. She comes through, I get out of her way. If she asks me to do something, I'm all over it. I'll drop whatever I'm doing. We're going to go uh, surfboard hunting. Oh, there she is. Andrew, your future girlfriend. What's up? Ask her out. Welcome to our thrift store. Feel free to look around. Do you have any surfboards? Um, no, I don't believe we do. This place is a <laughs> hole. I do have a single lady that's available. A single lady? <laughs> Who's that? Um, my coworker. Oh yeah? Francis. Andrew? You could probably teach him a thing or two. The best part about this shop is Andrew almost got a date. Yeah. The worst part about this shop is I almost got a date. We still have one more place to go check out. If we don't get a surfboard at the next place, I'm gonna call Chris and tell him Andrew's piece of car broke down. That's why we're taking so long. Dude, this place is crazy. Oh man, they got tons of stuff. Old smoke machine right here? Yeah. Whoa! There's some girlfriends for you, Andrew. Uh, hey, Whoa. surfboard. What? Surfboard, awesome. yeah. Awesome. Sick. Hello. Hey. Big Hi. So we're you're just... looking for a surfboard? Actually, yeah, we are. That's the real thing, yeah. the Iron Cross. Do you think we can look at it? The board? Or, yeah, just take a quick look at it. Of course, yeah. Okay. It's um, I don't. Th it's got a little damage, I think, you know, but uh, it's not in too bad a shape, considering oh, its yeah. age. Oh, yeah, there's a little, a little bit of a ding in there, you know? stuff like that. What do you think, Andrew? I don't know about this, but we can probably figure something out. Yeah. So how much do you think you'd want for that surfboard? Well, we've been asking 150 on it. 150? Uh-huh. Uh, can you do 75? Yeah, we'll do that. OK, because that's all I have on it. Then we'll do it. <laughs> Bam! All right. Bam. We got the surfboard. Big score. Mm. Yep. Yeah. This trailer actually came apart really well. So, you know. Visually, when you walked into the trailer, it looked bad. Now that we've got it down to this point, yeah, it's got, it's got a couple of framing pieces that need to be replaced, but nothing major. I'm actually really surprised with it. It really helps put us back on schedule to where we needed to be to make this seven days, because it's going to be tough. Things are going smooth right now. Oh! What'd you do? Oh! 
Hi. Shot yourself in the leg? No, Anthony got me with the staple. Billy just got nailed to a wall. Uh, where? Where? Right in the f head. He wasn't dying, so I wasn't stopping. Where? What happened? You all right? Let's see. No, no, no. I'm not into SNM, but a little bit of pain is okay once in a while. It makes you feel, it makes, makes you feel like you're still alive. Where'd it get you, dude? It's all right. Yeah. Hold his hand. Oh, it went through. It went through my nail. It went through my nail. That's gonna hurt. Danger, danger. It went right through my nail. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh. You want me to get? Let me see. They got some peroxide. We have peroxide. Ooh, watch out, dude. Here we go. No, no, no. Hang on. This is a good. Bad oh, boy. Did it hurt? Then we gotta put more. Dude, that's a scrape. You gotta go a little bit lower on those staples. You didn't see how many I put in, and you should have told me that. I didn't see how it was. All right, no, let me see. Sorry about yeah, that, no, Billy. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Let's see. It's good. Did it go under your nail? It went through my no, nail. Went, that means it went through your bone. So my question to you, Billy, is can you still work? Yeah, oh yeah. I'm good. Awesome. Wash yourself up and get the back to work. So it went through here, as you can see, and came out here. There's a hole here. And hold it here. Can't hear me, and this is Shelly. Can I help you? Hi, can I speak with Chris, please? Um, actually, there's there's no way I'm gonna be able to get him on the phone. He's pretty ill today. Is there something I can help you with? Uh, I just got a call from Hannah. She wants us to stop production on everything we're doing. She's got some important news she's got to tell me regarding the trailer. I'm I'm a bit worried. <laughs> We're gonna be doing a Surf Shack trailer for Hannah. It's um, a surf themed trailer. She's from Huntington Beach. She's young. Uh, she loves to surf. She actually, I think, gives surf lessons. So we're gonna be doing a surf trailer for her. Sean, I'm pissed. It's 8.15 in the morning and he still ain't here. A train or something got in his way or a dog bit his homework or something. Looks like he might need a demotion. Sean is really late. I think Chris is gonna chew his head off. Hey, did you get my text? Yeah, I got your text. Do you believe I call that every morning to get here on time and he's still not here on time? Did you call him? I spent half my morning sitting there calling Sean instead of getting myself ready. Who? Yeah, I'm up. Yeah, I've been up. I'm pissed. Sean being late is normal, but not this late, no. We're going on an hour and a half. Chris is not happy at all. I'm not happy either because I have to listen to that. Is Becca happy? She's like, no. I've got 12 people that rely on me to feed their kids. And when he doesn't show up for work, that puts all 14 of these people in here at risk. Yeah, I'm uh, about two hours late. Um, I can imagine Chris is pretty pissed off. Kind of questioning if I'm still gonna have a job here at the end of it. It's almost nine o'clock. You're supposed to be here at seven. You know, you make this place go round when I'm not here. So there should be no excuse why you can't be here at 7 a.m. with everybody else. This will be the last time. When that door is up, you're not my brother. None of these guys are my friends, they're employees. If this was anybody else, you would be gone. 7 a.m. every day. I mean it, it's the last freaking chance. How about it? I mean, he's not a kid anymore, you know? He's 28 years old. He needs to learn that, you know, in the big boy world, you gotta get up early and you gotta be to work on time. I will be on time from now on. I will be here at 7, I guess. I feel like a semi truck is trying to drive through my penis. That's the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. Yeah. So get get ready, man. Somebody earlier mentioned childbirth. Yeah. yeah. It's male uh, childbirth. Uh, yeah. Get ready for it. Walk it out. Chris yeah. is supposed to be in bed. He's not supposed to be up and running around. I need him resting and getting better so that I can put him back to work. 
I came out to check on the shop because that's what I do. You gotta make sure everything's going smoothly. It don't matter if I'm on my deathbed or what I'm in. Go lay down. I'm here to tell the canned ham man some big news. I just got a call from Hannah. We're gonna stop production on her trailer. She wants to change the theme. Um, this royally screws things up for me because I've already ordered quite a few things. I have a, quite a few things that we've already bought in for the surf shack. I can't take these things back. So I changed my mind. Um, I have a small business, Hannah's Bananas, and I got a really big gig. And I was hoping that you guys hadn't gotten too far on the surf trailer and maybe we could switch it back into Hannah's Bananas trailer. The customer's always right. The customer's always a pain in the ass, especially today. Wow, and you still need it back in the same time frame? Yeah, that's still the amount of time to have that big gig be able to happen. Wow, yeah. So I'm just hoping that somehow we'll be able to make it work. I'm just worried it's not gonna get done in time. Okay, Where? I, we can do our best, but in, in, you know, you gotta understand you're giving us a week, you're giving right. us a very small budget. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll do our best to work with what we can, but this, this could be an issue. <laughs> okay. Well, can I see the trailer, what you guys have done on it so far? Um, uh, yeah, 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 we can show you. Keep in mind, Chris has been sick. Okay. So, you know, he's, he's been down a couple of days now. Okay, understandable. Hannah. Chris, hi. Let's see. Oh, thank you. How's it going? It's going all right. Yeah. How you doing? Feeling any better? Eh. <laughs> Here we are, you know, a little behind schedule, and I yeah. come out and I hear uh, there's a change of plans all of a sudden. Right, and I feel bad doing it to you guys, but... Yeah, it doesn't matter, uh, you know, it doesn't matter to me that, that Hannah changed her plans. That's what I'm here for, is to make yeah. customers' dreams come true, so... Thank you. Um, we'll get it done for you. Okay. It's gonna be extremely tight, but we'll get it done for you. I'd rather put us behind schedule and get what she wants rather than, you know, we be on schedule and it's not what she wants. I really hope that you could pull this off. <laughs> we'll pull it off. We'll get it done. Thank you so much, Chris. I You're hope you welcome. feel better. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, hey, Billy, can we give Hannah first dibs on, on the trailer? Yeah, yeah, sure. You want here? Yes. Okay, let's get started, guys. How about it, man? Hannah was kind of upset that we weren't further along in the build. So we asked her if she wanted to take out some uh, aggression on the trailer. That's it. I hit the cabinet and a huge explosion went off. Somebody threw a firework cracker in, in, in the shop. Honestly, I thought that I hit something, but turns out they were trying to play a joke on me. Blew my ears out. Those jerks. Let's not not do that to... shit when there's a customer inside swinging heavy hammers and shit, right? It's cool to shit around when, you know, it's just us around here and nobody else is here to get hurt. When there's a customer in the building, don't do it. If it happens again, I'll fire every one of you. You understand? Chris is sick. We're behind on the build. We gotta go back to the drawing board. This is no time to be playing games right now. It was supposed to be a surf shack, but now it's a banana shack. What the f So Craven was taking this out here, and uh, you found this old check from 93. It's a guy's paid stuff. It's a pay stuff with a, with a check. You never okay, there, it. there's, there's an original one I've never seen yeah. come out of one of these. That's Craven found it. <laughs> that guy was probably where did I put that check? Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Where's my 200 bucks? <laughs> because Chris is sick, I had to take and just show the boys the general layout of the trailer so they know, just, you know, have a general concept of where to run everything and, and what we're doing with it. I want you guys to go ahead and do like Chris said. I want you to frame this back in the way it was originally framed. Right. It'll take a f miracle to get this done in a week. There's no way. Because we swapped the project, because she changed her project on us, I now have to try to get a serving window within like a two-day period Yeah, for so this. this is going to be a window you're going to have to order. Exactly. Okay. Well, Shelly, she came out and she gave us some hard measurements where things are going. And that's what we need in order to progress on Hannah's trailer. So we'll do three foot high counter, because that gives her a nice space to work and still able to reach the customer like where yeah. you guys okay. are, no problem. Yeah. My major concerns for Hannah's trailer is the fact that we swat, uh, switched gears as far as the design concept. 
So that puts me in a massive bind to try to get materials. Oh. Width-wise? Width-wise. I want to put her freezer here. Okay. So let's go ahead and take up as much as we can of this counter space to give her as much as possible. She came out and she explained everything to me, what was going on. We actually got some hard measurements so our cabinet guy can start prefabbing some countertops, some cabinets, our drawers. Basically, on this one piece of cardboard, I have all of Hannah's trailer laid out. I can build it from that one piece of cardboard. I don't have to take notes. You got Big Mike in there taking notes, jotting everything down. Yes, boss, kissing Shelly's ass. It drives me crazy. That guy, something about him, I don't know. Honestly, yeah, that, that, what that, I think that. I think we should do is just cover the wheel well completely. So let's- With counter space? Yeah, so yeah. from okay. the start of the wheel well all the way to the back. Today, all day long, is uh, Hannah's trailer. Um, we got floor, wall paneling to get up, flooring to get in, cabinetry to get started on. Um, we gotta bust some ass on this thing so we get this shit done. We only got a few days left. Mike. Yeah. Okay, Mike, bring this to Manny. This is the one he's working on. Okay, boss. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Hand it to me. I'm walking by to go get more grinder parts. Billy's an idiot. Says, here, take this to Manny. Throws a window at me and it hits the ground. You said you take gave it. it to you. You did not. You tossed it out the window, dude. Seriously? So Mike up. You broke it. So we didn't know the measurements because it was broken. Mike, what just happened? What do you think happened, man? That's the one you're. This goof. Out. This goof oh, throws a window at me. No. When you hear something like that, it's never good. Oh, so now, this is another night. I'm going to probably have to spend the night. Well, not spend the night, but stay here about 11 o'clock just to get that damn thing fixed. You know? You man. You. Come, come, come outside. Come outside, yeah, you're gonna be missing teeth. I've been smiling and laughing all day, but Billy has got under my skin. Look, there's nobody else out here except for me and you. You know that's your you know you did it, but we gotta finish these trailers. You're we supposed to, to help the other guy out. I will always you're help being you. a idiot, man. Hey, don't touch me, dude, okay? Keep your space. What the are you gonna do? Worst part about being a boss is when somebody f***s up and I gotta fire him. So, uh, what the f*** is the matter with you two? All I wanted to do was get Billy on the same page with me so we can get these damn trailers done and not have a bunch of go into the scrap pile. It shouldn't have happened. No, it shouldn't have happened. The fact of the matter is, it did. You're both at fault, that's that. So take your wet asses and go f*** home. I need this job. I need decent workers, too. They don't, you know, go outside and start boxing. So, you know, you guys up. I love working on these trailers. These trailers are awesome. Um, it's become a passion overnight with me doing this. It's like, this is my home, and I want to stay here. You know, Chris, we really don't have that big a problem together. It was just because it's hot and the heat of the moment, we really do get along. Well, now you're cool. Well, you know, I used to fight with my brother all the time, and we're really close, you know. So it's kind of like a, more like a brother, I, I'd say more like a brother fight than anything. I love working here. I know Chris. you. I, I, can't I know you both love working. Everybody that's here loves working here. We can shake yeah. hands on it, right? We're, yeah, I can shake hands on it. We're, we're okay. We're cool. I'll let you keep your jobs, but I swear on everything, if this happens again, there ain't gonna be no coming to my office. Customers come first around here, and I won't have any fighting going on, period. Well, I had to come get the hell out of the shop for a while, so I came out here to uh, polish it back into the Silver Street because with Billy in my head in there, things are going bad, and it's not good when things go bad, and I would prefer to have good things going on in the shop and not all this bad juju. Four months ago, I was living out on the railroad tracks. I was homeless. You ever lived on the railroad tracks? Living on the railroad tracks sucks, man. Rocks are hard, trains make a lot of noise, and uh, there ain't much uh, food out there. And now I have this for my home. It's awesome. Thanks to my higher power. Seriously. You know, Chris is, he's a savior, you know? And to give me a chance, you know, I'm damn near 50. But he's seen something in me like he sees these old rolling turd trailers, you know? He sees something in them, and we make them shiny. So even an old rolling turd trailer can end up shiny. So maybe um, I can shine too. So here I am, I'll just polish for a while.
We're gonna switch gears and I'm gonna have the guys get in on the inside and uh, get as much as we can done to that thing. Basically, Chris doesn't have his marble coming out of his right now, so his brain's working really well. And he's laid us out to where we will actually get this thing done. Sean texted me at about 12.30 last night, said he might be a little late. I, I, I don't see how he thinks that's an excuse. It's 8.30, where's Sean? So Chris has now decided he's gonna go over to my parents' house and wake Sean up and get him out of bed. I'm a little worried about that because I'm the one that takes the wrath of all of this stuff. So when my mother calls and needs to bitch at somebody, it's going to be me. Most of my crew has had their, you know, tags with the law and tags with drugs or alcohol or whatever. But, uh, you know, they're, they're all good guys, you know? They're good people, they got good heart. And, uh, you know, they deserve that, that chance, you know? And, uh, I mean, right now, really, the only person that's not, uh, doesn't seem to be uh, uh, taking advantage of that second chance is Sean. So, uh, I'm gonna go rattle this frickin' chain. This is gonna be funny as hell, because I'm gonna pull up right in the grass, right up to his window, and I'm gonna lay on the horn. <laughs> Sean, get your ass out of bed and get out here. Dude, I heard you in the haunt. Please, no anger, hostility, none of that bull. I'm pissed. I can tell there's a truck in my front yard. This is pissing me off, Royal. I just talked to you yesterday about being late, and you're late. I don't know what's going on with you. I know you love working here. I need to be able to rely on you every day. I'm terribly sorry about this morning. I tried my damnedest to seriously be there on time this morning, but... I'm one step away from being fired, and honestly, it really sucks. Sean's been late every day this week. Some 15 minutes, some by an hour, some by over an hour. So I've got to do something about it. So I'm going to give you the option. You've got... I'm going to take you either down to $9 an hour, or I'm going to charge you a $10 late fee every day that you're late, because on this timesheet, you were late every single day this week. He's my brother, but I just can't let it slide. I mean, late every day is unacceptable. So there's got to be a repercussion for that. So you pick which one, $10 a day late fee or $9 an hour demotion? Let's go with the $10 a day then. Cool. If you're late, I'm going to charge you the 10 bucks. If you're not late, then no 10 bucks. That's okay. fair? Yeah. You're happy with that? Very happy with okay. that. It's a lot nicer than $9. OK. Today's game plan is to hopefully we get the walls inside and get some cabinetry in. Chris is using his new plasma cutter to cut the stainless for the inside of Hannah's trailer. Um, it looks awesome. He's cutting really fast. He's happy with it, so Happy Boss makes us happy. So, um, you know, that's all good. I like it. The whole inside of Hannah's trailer is going to be paneled 48 inches up with this circular pattern. It's going to look awesome. I'm also going to do that to the faces of the doors. We can't make Hannah's Bananas trailer without bananas. The bananas make the trailer. I am building banana fenders for Hannah's trailer. It's gonna be quite a process. This is gonna be the foam for Hannah's banana. You better be so careful. This is such an expensive block of foam. Shelly, my stomach's already turning. I don't need any more pressure, I swear. No pressure, no pressure. Bananas aren't that easy to make, even though you think it would be. Kick it up to 10 amp, Manny. Oh, dude, that's butter. Look at that. Well, I guess you got your banana going. 
That's better than what I thought it'd turn out. Perfect. Now get it done yesterday. Nothing better than the real thing to make it look like the real thing. And I will say this is the first time I've ever screwed a banana to a board. Voila. I've never actually sculpted a banana, so this is kind of fun. He's a liar. He used to sculpt penises before this job. Yeah, it feels the right size, right shape. Uh, There's a little bit more head up here, though. Oh, I think it looks all right. This is Hannah's giant banana. That is the rough shape. Yeah, I like it. I think that banana's going to look badass. Man, that banana looks like it's gonna get shot right out into space. It's looking really, really cool. We'll send it off to paint today. So we got the insulation in. Um, that part's done. All we gotta do now is get the moisture barrier on, get the aluminum skin panels on, get everything glued in, and uh, get it down to paint. I mean, we're, we're down to the wire here, and uh, this thing will get to paint today. It has to, we don't have a choice. <laughs> bananas, man, we've been <laughs> with them bananas for days now. We need to get these, these things done, because we still got to get them fiberglassed, and then get them to paint, too. I don't know what was up with Manny today. It smells like a brewery. I said to him, Michael, man, you go get some gum, Michael. Your breath reeks. Manny. Manny started up, and then uh, next thing you know, I find out that he's been drinking. What, what's going on with you today, man? I have a lot of stress because I got to get the car fixed. Okay? And then I got my girlfriend on the on the phone saying, "When are you going to fix?" Well, I don't care about all that. I, I don't give two right now about all but that. I can cut all I care about now. is what's going on in my shop. And I got people coming over here concerned with me, thinking that you might have been drinking today. Yeah. Have you been? Yeah, I have. If you're fired, get out. If you're fired, get the f out. Now. Can't End of story. Fired. Get I the love f this out. Job. You don't love it enough not to drink? Get the f out. Now. You're done. You know, Chris, I love this job. I'll... I'm sorry, but you know. We were going to get tattoos and everything. And... Yeah, yeah, well, you're not. That's what happens when people come to my shop and work drunk. Get your and get out. I do not put up with people coming to work drunk. It has nothing to do with, you know, who you are as a person. I think you're a great guy, but I can't, uh, I'm not arguing with you about that. I think you are a great person. me because... Chris. I can't, I can't, man. I can't, I can't have people drinking on my job. Okay. See you guys later. You know, we work constantly. Just last night, I stayed at a hotel just so I could take a shower. And I wore these clothes for three days just to. It just sucks, man. Sucks ass. My wife's bitching at me, saying, you know, get the car fixed. So I figured, okay, I'll have a few beers. I never come to work with beer on my breath. It's one thing if he wants to get drunk and play with power tools. He's just not going to do it here around my people, my customers, my customers' trailers, my family. Mm -mm. I can't lose this job with the economy and everything like that. I'll tell you what. I don't know why the f I'm doing this. Uh, I've had people work for me my whole life. It's not the first time I've ever fired somebody for drinking on my job, but it's the first time that I've let somebody have a second chance. But I'm only gonna let you have that chance if you enroll in an alcohol class and, and get I off this shit. Show proof. I wanna see proof or you're not gonna get your job back. I love this job, I love, it's my heart. You saved me from the streets. I like you, Manny, I do, I like you a lot. I'm sorry. Come back on Monday and get yourself enrolled in a class. I will. Thanks, Chris. I really thank God that, you know, Chris gave me another chance. I know I do have a alcoholic problem, but, you know, I'd die for that guy. I don't know if he's going to, you know, quit drinking or not. Time will only tell that. But uh, I do know that, uh, you know, my gut says he does love this job. He's crazy about this job. So, you know, hopefully that has a little bit of influence and It'll keep him off the booze.
We're down here at Isaac's. We got the paint scheme on the trailer all figured out. This thing's gonna look freaking awesome. This guy does beautiful freaking work, so Hannah's gonna absolutely love this thing. Today's the day. Hannah's gotta get her trailer today. Yeah, it was a long night. Uh, we all pretty much stayed here, trying to finish up last minute things for Hannah's trailer. Today's the last day on Hannah's trailer. We're out of freaking time, so we got a lot of to do. I mean, yeah, I've been working it pretty hard. I mean, we've been pulling 15, 16 hour days. So I changed my idea from surf shaft to banana trailer, and I hope that they got it right. I think Hannah's gonna be pretty stoked. We were given our task, we were given our goal, and we just blew it clean out of the park. And I mean, it's, it's perfect. This thing turned out badass, man. These guys have been busting their asses. For the last two days, they've been at the shop, sleeping at the shop, working constantly on this thing. We got this trailer done, we got it done on time, and we're here, man. We're all pumped up and stoked, man. Hannah is gonna absolutely love this trailer. I am so excited. I cannot wait to see my banana trailer. You ready? ready? No. Here we come. No. You ready? You ready? Check it out. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I love it. Big old huge banana. Oh my god. I mean, if this thing doesn't say Hannah's bananas, I don't know what will. No one's going to mistake it for anything else. I like it? love it. Awesome. Yeah, it's Perfect. When I came around that corner and I first saw the trailer, I was absolutely blown away. <laughs> Big giant banana. No one will mistake me now. No, no. When you're, it's you're, a banana trailer. I was thrilled. It was exactly what I wanted. It displayed Hannah's bananas perfectly. Check these out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Can I have a seat on yeah, it? Yeah, sure, sit. Oh my gosh, Chris, you outdid yourself. It's so cool to see that face and that smile. Her eyes were huge. She loved it. Keeping the, the, the surf, surf board. city. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tied in the two. Uh -huh. Oh, and check these out. Yep, there's your banana fenders. Oh it's another gosh. thing, one of uh, Mike's creations. Oh my gosh. Check out the lights on this thing. No way. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Hi. 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 Oh, oh, we're now open. Open, open. open. shop. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Did you like it? Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh my gosh, I can't <laughs> believe it. Thank you. Exactly what yeah, I was trying to go for like banana crates. Yeah, it's You know, perfect. and then plantation look inside. Definitely. So it, it, yeah, it worked out really, really awesome. Oh my really gosh, awesome. I love it. Thank you so much, You're Chris. You're welcome. The inside, the details are incredible. Um, they really looked at all the details um, with bananas and they put really cool light fixtures on the inside. And the banana comes with, with it. it. Go like advertising. Get yeah, yeah, go customers. advertise. Some Get us some customers. Go on. Some customers. Well, who wants a banana? I, I want a banana. banana. Yeah. All right. Bananas. Anybody want some bananas? We've got chocolate covered bananas with sprinkles and nuts. I think now with the trailer, I'm just so amazed by it that I believe anywhere it goes, it's going to kind of be a landmark. Who wants the first banana? Send us. There you go. Enjoy. <laughs> My first banana. That's it. People aren't going to miss it. They're going to want to stop in for a frozen banana. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see what comes. This is awesome, man. This, this is the feeling that I'm looking for whenever I deliver a trailer to a customer. We busted our asses on this thing, and she loved it. She freaking loved it, man. And that right there, I mean, that put me on cloud nine right there. That, that's, that's what we need. That's, you know, what all my guys need. It's for you. Hey, thank you. You're welcome. Got it? Yummy. And when I see my customer that happy, I'm happy.